Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today we're looking at two video cards from Sapphire, the HD5550, the Overclocked Edition, and the 5670 Ultimate Edition. Let's start off here with the 5550. It's um, a mainstream entry-level card, but this one comes overclocked. Okay, here's the model. 650 megahertz is the uh, GPU core. That's a step up from the average 5550, which comes at actually 550 um, megahertz, so it's 100 megahertz more. And uh, all you need is a 350 watt power supply. So you're good to go uh, with any mainstream system, no problem. It has support for Affinity, Crossfire, you can have that in there as well. And of course, um, this has 512 megabytes of uh, GDDR5 memory. So top of the line memory there. In the box, you get the drivers, the manual, the ArcSoft um, information there for that software as well, bundled. And um, as you can see, one of the things that stick out about these cards is the cooling factor, right? So the uh, Arctic cooling here, this uh, nice looking fan is going to actually give more than um, your average fan cooling, okay? And that's what I like about these fans. So definitely uh, look for a card like this and uh, make sure that you get the Arctic cooling. DVI, HDMI, and DisplayPort out, standard, needed for the Ifinity for your triple monitor hookup, terrific. And of course, if you want something silent, then you use the HD5670, the ultimate edition here. Silent passive cooling. That's really what it's all about. One gig of GDDR5, terrific. You're gonna get a boost of performance. It's definitely a step up from the 5550, of course. And um, you need a stronger power supply, 400 watt. but it's obviously great for a home theater PC. You can hook up two of these in Crossfire, silent, no noise. And you've got, of course, your standard outputs, just like on the 5550. Now, included with this, because it's a step up and it's the ultimate, you're going to get the Crossfire bridge connector, you're going to get DVI VGA out, you're going to get the HDMI uh, DVI connector there as well, drivers, the ArcSoft uh, Sim HD application, the manual. That's what you get with the Ultimate Edition, okay? It's a step up. Now, um, it's a thin card, as you can see, one slot width, okay? So very nice, and it's got heat pipes coming out of there, as you can see, two of them going up to the top. So pretty interesting design there, covering everything, including the memory, okay? So everything is covered with this humongous flat heat sink. Very nicely done, it says sapphire on the top. That's pretty cool, it's spiffy to look at when it sticks out in your case. And um, like I said, it has DVI, HDMI, and DisplayPort out, so you can hook up also three monitors and have your iFinity. We're going to be testing it in this test system that you can see here, okay? And uh, my room temperature is about 20 degrees Celsius. I've got the air conditioner on, and it's pretty cool. Now, here is the GPU-Z uh, information for the 5550 first, and then we'll look at the 5670. The um, texture fill rate, the picture fill rate, the shaders, all of that is going to be lower than the 5670, so this is the 5550, but you can see the GPU clock is a boost to 650 megahertz from 550, which is normally what you get, okay? Here is the 5670 GPU-Z, and everything is higher, everything, the memory, the shaders, the texture fill rate, picture fill rate, everything that you're going to see here except for, of course, the bus with the GPU uh, itself and the bandwidth. Um, that's pretty much the same, okay? But uh, obviously the GPU clock is going to be higher, 775. Memory clock is actually the same, okay? But we are getting uh, expect and expecting better performance from the 5670. So here is the temperatures that I um, logged for idle and full load for both. And let's look at some game benchmarks, starting off here with one of my favorites, okay? Um, 3D... Mark Vantage, okay, is one of the best applications that I use for getting the GPU scores only, okay, and you can see where it ranks compared to other cards, compared to the 5450, which is the value entry model, um, and here are some game benchmarks as well from Bioshock 2, different resolutions, including hooking up two monitors uh, to the cards at 3360 times 1050, and you can see all the different performance results in the frames per second that we're getting. Obviously, the HD5670 Ultimate Edition is way better, okay? As I showed you from the GPU-Z results, everything is higher, okay? Including the memory. You've got one gig of GDDR5 here on the silent. Very nice. 
overclocking, you can get a boost on top of what already comes on the 5550 by increasing it using the auto-tune feature in the uh, ATI Catalyst drivers, the overdrive utility. Same thing for the HD5670, the silent edition here. You can also overclock that a little bit higher and get a few more frames per second out of your games. So terrific cards, no matter which one you want, depending on which price you want. I'll add the links in the description. You can click on that. And um, I hope you enjoy this video. And thank you, Sapphire, for providing it.